Welcome back to the most professional StarCraft 2, where it's been too long since I've been able to introduce the most relatable Terran player in the red, the People's Terran. It's Kier. But arrayed against him. The only Zerg you trust to make the finals, and I do mean essentially every finals. That much more entertaining. Ranked number one in the world by Dark, it's the final boss. It's Dark. A best of five. Terran versus Zerg showdown yet again, and Dark not wasting absolutely any time. He's got a spotting pull on the way, and a Roach Warren, yes, in production. Which means, as always, we gotta get off to a quick start with begging you for likes, and if you haven't made it there yet, subscribes. And Jimmy, what are we? 1,294 1, likes on this video, on this cast, on this series. And I'll cast another one. And while Dark is showing up for work, I'll probably do it anyways. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you've had a good day so far. And hopefully it's about to just get a little bit darker. As, again, Dark has made it to the finals of a weekly tournament. When you got a Zergling at home to support, you make as many as you can and get him... Hey, he raises the depots. There's not a wall up there. Uh, it appears Cure, with the standard greedy no-scout Terran, did not have anything to deal with this. And now the Zerglings are inside the house. The SCV's chasing them around. A single Marine. Reaper comes back. He might be able to surround it. Honestly, solid defense from Kira so far. And, uh, Dark has roaches on the way, though. So, Kira, how much did he see? He saw the expansion, but he didn't get any info about the main. He doesn't know for sure. And the Overlord is on the high ground pervert pillar here as it likes to uh, hang out until it can creep anywhere else the overlord will be taken out but that means the marine oh every second counts here though they don't know it the marines are actually going to back off and dark is waiting he decides not to try to chase him down he's trying to catch the cyclone he's waiting in the bushes crouching roaches and Reaper. <laughs> I wonder if Cure even noticed what happened there. I have to assume so. Everything is now on the high- And again, he's never going to finish this add-on over here. He keeps having to move the barracks every which way in order to wall off against whatever dark is thrown at him. The Cyclones will come out to deal with this. And, well, dark building more lings behind. He's got Zergling speed on the way. The Cyclones in the medevac are definitely a capable defense against just the roaches, but the speedlings will throw a significant wrench into things. A banshee is going to be very helpful, but Dark only has 26 drones. He is relying almost entirely on bamboozling Cure here and keeping him off balance for long enough to pin him down for the knockout blow. And, well, no third base coming up. The Roach Ravager sees the Cyclone drop is on the other side of the map, which is going to be a pain to deal with. May lose an Overlord here to start. Brenda, why don't we have any creep? I, I just got here, Susan. This was an all-in. Don't you know? I... <clears throat> the Ravager's on the bottom of the ramp here. SCVs are pulled. The Cyclone, a very helpful defense. And the Banshee, even more so. Don't, don't hit the... That's enough. No. 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 Come on. The People's Terran flies right into the corrosive bile like it's a particularly rambunctious frat party. And he suffers the consequences of it, but still holding the wall. So even though he lost the Banshee, the game is still somewhat in doubt. Another wave of corrosive bile just wipes out the SCVs. The wall will hold, but there's nothing economically be and by nothing economically behind it. I another wave. Not this time. I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen this time. None of this should have happened. But that banshee should have shut down this attack on its own. But that banshee uh, was knocked out immediately, and all of the damage, pretty much, uh, can be attributed to that loss. And now. Dark is so all in that. Oh my god, what a save on those cyclones there. 
but no one save <sighs> okay all right where are we dark was so all in if that banshee had survived i think this may have just been a gg moment i don't blame him for trying uh to to shorten this map as the the rocks and the mineral walls and it's essentially like playing the mid lane only as our but despite dark's best efforts to get the game done one way or another cure manages to take enough damage to um allow dark to macro up without being in such a dire state here <laughs> He, he's not in a terrible economic position. He has a third command center on the way. He's got the Banshees. Dark only has 29 drones. He's had to build uh, at least one Spore Crawler. Yeah, he's got Spore Crawlers in each base. Because these are indeed Cloak Band. Oh my god. Oh. Robbie, get over here. Oh my god, they're killing the hatch. I don't... Karen, calm down. We've got it under control. A hectic game to start, but would you have it any other way? Huh. Kira's had a lot of opportunities to, to shut down Dark's aggression and minimize the follow-up. But most of those opportunities have failed spectacularly. But he does have two Banshees, and he does have his production coming online. Dark is starting to really drone up now. It's usually not um, notable to be getting 50 drones by the 8 minute mark. In fact, that's the benchmark I recommend to Metal League players to aim for. Of course, those Metal League players usually have exactly zero things happen before the 8 minute mark, and not an entire saga of back and forth Rochalins. Spire is on the way. Great Banshee micro out of here. Gonna pick off some more drones and get away before the Queens can even shake their fists at it, or whatever appendages those are. Engineering base in production and it looks like we're gonna settle down into something resembling normalcy and uh well the spire is a big wrinkle here as the mutas and indeed it will be mutas are going to be the choice from dark he doesn't even have the evo chambers at the moment which means no upgrades he is relying almost entirely on the mutalis here which is a massive mutal muta risk um In, uh, we're gonna see if he has to mute a tisk in order to mute a whisk. Anyways, he got the banshee, which really shouldn't have happened. Th that is the second banshee this game that shouldn't have died. Work in progress on the mutas there. But, oh, Dark was a little supply blocked. He couldn't build that many of them. Again, this is another kind of version of All In. He has 68 drones, but no Evo chambers, no Roach Speed, no Baneling Nest at all, no Infestation. You know, it's easier to list what he does have, which is a Roach Horn and a Spire, and essentially no upgrades for anything else. He's relying on Blind Side and Cure yet again with the Mutus in order to wipe him out. And, uh, well, what does Cure have back at home? He only has eight Marines. Only now are his barracks coming online. Roach speed is on the way. The mutas will intercept. Is there a cyclone in there? Indeed there is. Turrets in production back at home. So just seeing this at all. He's able to kill one muta. And the amount of time he's bought will make sure that Cure has the basic defenses back at home. That's a huge deal that he was able to spot and intercept any of these mutas before they got across the map. If they fly in and there's no turrets there. Uh, that is absolute disaster for the Terrans. But as it stands, Kira's going to have plenty of time to build up. Dark is clearly looking for the big roach swing behind the mutas here. I don't think we'll see any more mutas past this initial group. 1-1 one, one is done now for Kira the Marines. Dark just trying to keep them busy, getting what he can. And then, ideally, drag as much of the army out of position before hammering down with the roaches. The question will be, does ha Cure have enough back at home to defend? Or is he caught out on the map? Or is Dark just able to break him? He has another round of roach aggression. A third or fourth one. It's hard. They kind of blend together early on. 
blend him with a Muta Whisk. No. <clears throat> Muta's still going. Using those mineral walls against him. Kira has a very good idea of what's coming after this. Uh, the Muta count has not increased. There's clearly not Lings and Banes. He knows where this is going. He drags any amount of Marines out of position. Dark. Two upgrade deficit. There's three siege tanks going on four. Two Banshees. The corrosive bile take out two Banshees and a siege tank. Oh, baby, a triple. And Dark is still maxed out. How does he land these hits? All right, his hands are shaking. But he's still getting the corrosive bile shots off on everything he needs. And here comes 1-1. One, one. He's refilled. The Mutas dragged units around. Gear, his army supplies looking lackluster. He only has three bases to work with, which means if Dark is able to deny this, it's a significant portion of the economy, as the main base is essentially mined out at this point. Gear is working on plus two. Oh, the turret was taken out, which means the Mutas are still going to work. He's done such great work with the Mutas indeed, but here come the Roaches. He dragged a few of the Marines across the map. There's still plenty of siege tanks on the back line here. The supply depot's trying to help out and, and buffer for the roaches, and so far doing quite a good job of it. 17 more roaches in production, but Cure, he's holding. See, it's not about the most perfect micro, but instead the masterful macro to follow it up. Cure is able to put so many units on the field that sometimes that's enough. Though he's testing the boundaries of it this game, certainly. More corrosive bows landing, Mutas in the main base. Working on the armory and actually getting some SCVs as well. He could, uh, if he gets the armor, he gets the armory, which will delay the 3 3 upgrades, which is certainly something. Is it enough? As cure. 95 army supply, plus two, plus two on the ground. He's only got three siege tanks. The mutas are still going. He only lost that one muta. Oh, did I jinx it? I think so. Yeah. He only lost the one muta to the medevac initially. Roaches and Ravagers coming in again. Here, keep trying to rebuild those tanks. Oh my god, he got like three medevacs! The corrosive bile spraying and praying across. And Kier, he has so many marines. But the medevacs are out of energy. And a lot of them already were removed from life. And the Mutas still just sharking back and forth. I think Dark is buying a little bit of time here until 2-2 is done. Which is not too long. About 30 more seconds to have both. Infestation pit, just in case. He's like, well, he won't die. I really didn't want the game to get to this point, but here we are. The Mutas find another armory. I don't know. Nope, nope, Dark. Those aren't the ones for the uh, weapon upgrades for infantry. That's the engineering bay. I know it doesn't make sense. All right. Why is the armory for the mecha? Either way, the unit's stimmed and chased down by the roaches. The stim is almost permanent damage now. Wipes out another tank, but that's so many marines! And he's just stutter stepping down the ramp. The medevac's perpetually out of energy. He managed to get plus three infantry weapons started. Dark is still just leaning on the roaches, but Cure, his supply hasn't dropped below 150 throughout all of this. So he's managed to hold on so far, but here now a little out of position, gonna lose another siege tank, a lot of vulnerable SCVs. In fact, he may lose the command center itself. The mutas are at the back. I bet there's an armory back there. Wave of corrosive bile raining down. May kill, no, there's just depots. He's gonna get the orbital. He's gonna get the orbital. Meanwhile, the bio army is just crushing through, but the spray and prey is still going to work. The Metamax, uh, only a handful of them healing. The Marines are evaporating! And Dark! With some of the most precision target fire corrosive biles I have ever seen competing with himself for the best corrosive biles in this matchup ever. Oh my. The most skilled of shots. This is ridiculous. No, no, Cure's out of units. Dark just needs to keep doing the same thing. More and more roaches heading across the map. The Marauder's finally being added in, but far too little, far too late, and Dark takes game number one.
Oh my, 100 roaches thrown at the problem. 27 ravagers. He still had mutas by the end, which is crazy in this sort of game. But cure! Oh no, the corrosive bo- That first banshee. No, no. That, no. <laughs> you, you can't make that mistake. And it happened to some extent several times over, so dark. You miss 100% of the corrosive bowels, you don't spew, as they say. <sighs> dark is able to take Crimson Court, which I'm almost certain was Kira's map pick. But that would make it odd that this would be dark, so I'm not entirely convinced. We're going to post-youth. Yes. You. I know. Don't insult the audience. Just say the name of the map and move on. Don't worry, they're old. They won't keep up with the jokes. They're post-youth, if you would. Third base on the way before gas for dark. And he's just long-distance mining those golden minerals. Here. Is that command center first? Everybody getting their uh, extra bases up here. Dark correctly predicting that that Cure will go for a greedy build. The only reason Cure took so much damage in the last game is he went for the no SCV scout. Uh, Dark just canceled. Oh, he canceled Zerglings when he saw it was a command center first because he doesn't need any Zerglings if the Reaper is this late because the Queens will be out to politely yet firmly ask the Reaper to leave. A third command center is spotted by the Overlord. Kira says, let the OV watch. Is that a wall? I want to say yes, but I'm not going to say it with supreme confidence here. Well, there's not going to be... The Overlord just going to be wandering through. It's going to see everything. There's nothing... There's no Marines. So... You can't hide from Duck. Dark takes the gold base. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. Will we go? Dark's record is five hatches before gas. At least that I've seen. He's on four. And one of them is a gold. Can we count it as like... Well, if we count the other like half gold. Technically the gold is still the same as a regular base. It's just you mine more minerals. There's only six mineral patches. So it's the same amount of income for less workers. Which is why it's so valuable. But it isn't more overall if you have say unlimited drones still no gas out of dark there we are cure also with the full build up there's a roach one of course good old spanishi wall build Kind of just take it. Oh, get off my well. Soon to be creep. Oh. Reaper is taken out. Did he see the goal? Oh no! Oh cure. That's actually a huge deal. It was kind of assumed. I don't think Dark cared. If the Reaper scouted it, but he's certainly happy it didn't. As, well, what do you do differently? There's not much cure can do differently at this point. He's already kind of on the trajectory of getting two medevacs with these stim marines. He's going to move out with them either way. But maybe with a bit more pep in his step. Um, you don't want to double stim. It doesn't work. My fifth base for death. At five minutes. Well, the queens. Roaches are on the way. The marines are already making their way across. This is the shortest rush distance of all the maps. Oh, he spots the base. Stim is done in two seconds, but that gives Dark just enough time to retreat here. 
And fighting the Marines heads up. The Roaches, the Transfuse, makes the save the Queens. Cure comes in with a Medivax, though. Gonna snap up a few of the drones. Though the uh, Marine count whittled down rather quickly to that creep a bit ambitious, knowing which direction the, the Medivacs were going. Second factory on the way. He's gonna try a mass tank sort of push against this mass roach. And dark, well, I'm sure we'll see some ravagers to try to make magic happen yet again. 22 zerglings and then realizes maybe I should get zergling speed. Very platinum league move out of dark. At fifth base is done. Only 65 drones here, but he does have the gold. And plenty of queens already built. The uh, checkerboard depots being added on just to make it that much harder. Possibly distract the roaches. Um, also funnel them into potential siege tank fire. Infantry weapons level one, complete. Armor finishing up. Meanwhile, 1-1 one, one for Dark, about 30, 35 seconds out. As, uh, a little less focused on the upgrade so far, more focused on having the units in the right place at the right time. Overlord taken out, actually supply blocking Dark at 182. Wow, he's nearly maxed out. I mean, when you go, like, four hatch before gas with a gold, it's like one and a half golds. It's gonna max out pretty quick. I think... He would have already been there hadn't, if it hadn't been for those meddling marines. Yeah, pre eight minute max out. The double drop in towards the main. We'll pull some of the roaches back. They just moved out, unfortunately. Marines, the queens. We'll get some damage onto the Metavax. The more damage, the harder it's going to be to follow that up. The Zerglings, the door's just open. The dark. Well. That Roach Ravager coming in from the right flank. Four siege tanks tucked in here. Enough Ravagers to make life very difficult for those tanks. Sprays up the corrosive piles, knocks out, gets a medevac with it. Still a couple more tanks on the back line. Another wave of vials. The tanks are just crumbling. Dark is just running him over right now. The only thing happening is that it's it. It's all. That's it. He just taps it out. Dark just comes and bops him with a bunch of roaches. Good old Stefano-style 200 supply roach max with some extra ravagers for spice, but wow. Well, that is a bit of a disaster for Cure, as uh, certainly. Um, yeah, not the ideal game there. Not sure exactly what he expected, but clearly... Well, if he expected to lose to a bunch of roaches knocking on his door at the 8-minute mark, then he was right on the money. But, I'm gonna go ahead and say that wasn't his, uh, endgame plan. But, away we go. Dark on match point already. But we're going into Amphion, which is one of our, uh, most creative maps of the new pool. We've seen Dark use some... Well, he's just going pool first. All right. Well, yet again, Cure just keeps not respecting. All right. Dark will teach you respect. And Cure just doing his cookie cutter builds here. Dark is anything but sweet, though. Do cookies have to be sweet? I think they're biscuits. If they're not. Can you have a sweet biscuit or is that just a cookie? I feel like that's a matter of opinion. Strong opinions that I don't have, but I'm sure other people do. Like SCVs, who like their biscuits, preferably buttered, and not filled with zerglings, but unfortunately, deja vu, we've just been in this base before. Cool, first zerglings. But they probably won't do much damage because uh, there is no follow. Dark is just mentally and physically all over Kira right now, which 
quite a visual, but I don't be jealous. He got into the entire base. He delayed the command center. He delayed the factory, I believe. At least somewhat. He forced the Reaper to come home. This time around, it's not going to be fun. That, that overlord probably wasn't supposed to be here. That's a kind of a free kill for, for cure. And quite a hard supply block. SCV is taken out. The queen trying to drive away the Reaper. No third base for Dark. So now we're in the awkward situation of trying to take a third. He actually gives away the drone there. Dark still a bit supply block. More and more OBs on the way. But this was much less of a, a critical game changing all in and more of a significant annoyance. Like this is a difference between there being traffic on your way to work and Dark coming to your house and slashing your tires and waking up and seeing him staring you in the face saying, hey, want six Zerglings? And you say no. And he said, well, it wasn't really a question. But here we are, 10 more Zerglings. The Express Reaper jump employee entrance here is denied by the Queen. Reaper, I'll head it back. A zergling speed is complete, and a whole bunch of zergling. Dark just kind of picky at timing and saying zerglings now. It's gonna be that 420 zergling timing. A classic here. And what is there to defend? Well, Kira was uh, a third of the way across the map with uh, some medevacs, or one medevac with like a couple cyclones. Uh, the zerglings, once again, asserting dominance in the natural. And then promptly leaving because Hellions are quite a solid counter. But <laughs> another example of maybe whether or not you should, but definitely whether or not you could has been answered with those Zerglings. Matter of fact, there is a Cyclone in there, which is, uh, certainly a choice. It is one of the choices. The th I think the Cyclone just kind of a, a hedge against roaches. If Dark comes up with another roach all in, then the Cyclone is the best tool against it, but... Not this time. Is Lair done? No. Not even started, so... The Cyclone being incredibly annoying here. As Dark works his way through the mineral wall. Two factories are- it's gonna be Mac- Cure! Taking us to McDonald's. No more bio-curious builds, but instead... I'm gonna try something different. Which, probably a good idea considering how the last two games have gone. Hyper Hypersheez. And Hell Clones. Very likely Hell Clones. It might not be Cyclones, but it's probably going to be Cyclones. So the Hyper Mech style. Which Gumiho, of course, has pioneered. Um, much like almost all Mech styles nowadays. This actually, Gumiho recently beating Duck. Not too many days ago. With a, a heavy Mech style, at least in most of the games. So, well, that's a lot of Hellions here. Gonna get a wrap around, but the Hellions. Yeah, well, I. Mm, yeah, the Banshees. Eh, not great, not terrible. He kills a lot of Zerglings, but just Zerglings. Not really getting the Queens. Not getting any drones. He's killed three in total. I think the Banshees got him. There are the Hurricane Engines, is that what we're calling it? Uh, the Cyclone Speed Upgrade. And got a facelift on the upgrade thing, because technically they don't have thrusters, but they have engines. Whatever. <laughs> the Zerg- okay, well, now this is not good. Yeah, that didn't- that's- that- uh, I don't know. 
That seems like a lot of Zerglings to lose. 44 Zerglings. For six Hellions, a Cyclone, a Marine, and the Banshees are going to work. Dark, he's committed to the Zerglings here. He's decided this is the Zergling game. He he does not have a Roach War. He, do, he starts a Hydra Dead, but of all the games to skip the Roaches, the one where you're up against Mech is probably uh, the least favorable. But Dark decided to enable uh, Heroic Mode, or Challenge Mode, and just skip the roaches against Mech, just to make it more interesting. And indeed it will be! Assuming he's able to survive with essentially just Zerglings and Queens here. Now well, that's four Hyper She's, but an Overseer is in place. The Banelings waddling in. They don't even have Baneling speed on the way, but they're getting close enough. And he's targeting the Overseer here. Will eventually take out, take it out with the Cyclones. And that means the Banshee should have free reign. So some Zerglings come around from the back. There's no detection. Brenda, did you bring two Overseers? I said, pack the backup. Why are you on my case today, Karen? That was your job. We all make mistakes. Hydra was done, almost taken out. The Banshee is definitely not utilizing their their window without any detection very well here. Here, but but he does still have the Banshees alive. And that's a very important part of this, as the anti-air is incredibly limited. Even when you have the Hydras, the Banshees can take out small groups of them easily. You need double-digit Hydras, at least half a dozen Queens, to deal with this level of Banshees comfortably. Here, just now getting his 1-1. Dark has a Hive on the way. He's got that base in the top right corner as well. Here is 80 SCVs to 78 drones, though. And he is building a mech composition that is incredibly hard to deal with, at least until Hive Tech. Siege tanks on the way. Blue Flame Hellions incinerating Zerglings. Burrow is done. And uh, there's nothing to give away those Zerglings. A scan forward. The Hyper She's chasing down some Hydras. Might be able to get the base. There's no creep down here. Uh, a lot of damage coming out. The Hydras don't quite have their muscular augments, but where's the detect- where's the Overseer? Cure just backs off. Doesn't want to risk it. I- Please, wait. Someone! The creep! Really? Okay, just stand there. Alright. Typical. Well, Dark has plenty of Hydra Ling. Just struggling in supply, though. He hasn't been able to really get much gas. Oh, and just... Well, Hellions. With Blue Flame. The Banshee's now getting involved. Not an ideal fight for either side. Trying to chase it down. We'll get one Banshee. Kind of splitting the damage between them. Oh, my. 19 kills on two different Banshees. Six on the next one. He gets away with three, with less than a Banshee of HP between them. Getting away with literal murder there. Is it murder if they're Zerg? Uh, Hydralis and Vipers. And, oh my, it just started Baneling Speed. I guess Dark realized maybe he does want to close the distance. Some Changelings going out. Ultralis Cavern is the choice, sure. Why not? This, well, everything is scouted back here. It's time to go. If you're going to attack, it's now. The Ultralis Cavern is on the way. The Vipers are clearly still gathering energy here. It appears Cure is more interested on establishing more bases and essentially just locking down the map. Dark has taken one of the, the pocket bases here past the mineral wall. But the Banshees will deal with it. They've been repaired. They survived, and now they're a continued thorn in Dark Side. Hydra's chasing down the Hellions. The 
Banshees again. There just never seems to be an Overseer exactly where there needs to be. Dark struggling with detection against the Banshees. Still not maxed out. No Lurker Den. This is a maxed out mech army closing in on 2 2. A Ghost Academy and two more barracks are on the way. That's a lot of siege tanks. 19 siege tanks on the field. Well, those Vipers have a lot of work to do. Hope they brought big sunglasses to blind those tanks. How many Vipers? Three of them. There's a couple Vikings to zone out, but otherwise, no, there's one Viking. So the Vipers should be able to get whatever they want here. The Queen's gonna tank some of the damage early on. Blinding clouds on the center mass of the tanks. But there's so many more tanks. Anti-armor missile. The tanks themselves are walling off. But the Zerglings are streaming through. The Queen's still brutalized by the tanks at the back line. And there's just so much. It looked like Dark may just break through. But he only dealt with the front line. The tanks at the back just pounded the point home. Three Ultras on the way, a Greater Spire, Dark has 83 drones, but Kira still has 87 SCVs in essentially all the bases on his side of the map. And by that I mean, eh, he's still missing two or three, but has plenty of mining here. He's working towards ghosts. Dark was annihilated in that attack. But Kira is not really uh, pushing the issue. He darts in with some hell. Oh my. Oh, it's beautiful and terrible. Immolating the drones. 19! 22 kills. Just uncontested. There's nothing here to deal with it. Get some zerglings. The ultras will finally show up. A huge counterattack from Dark. Sends out dozens of zerglings. Finds his way into pretty much every base. Burrowing everywhere. Gets 13 SCVs. So, finds some counter damage, and he's burrowed within the mineral lines, or nearby of it. God. Just lighting up those zerglings. Another one unburrows, gets some more. Zergling into the main cure, just doesn't raise the depots. Some free SCVs, they rattle anyway. Two ultras. Ultra speed now. Chitinous plating is done, but ghosts are in production. Cure. Struggling to, to close this out. Dark has been in a terrible spot supply-wise, supply essentially the entire game. He's a, Remember, he maxed out repeatedly before eight minutes. Of course, with roaches. But now, barely able to put enough units on the field to get close. Cure has built the end game army. No, the methodical cure that we know, and at least Terrans might love. He's got 14 siege tanks, five ghosts, four Thors, and Vikings overhead as well. Dark is looking for angles to actually attack into this. There's not that many. There's a set of rocks over here. Another one. Mineral walls. He's got a bunch of ultras out on the field. How many vipers? Zero. So not very many. Gonna try to swing around just a huge counterattack with the ultras. Gonna go straight for the planetary here. The ghosts line up the shots and knock out a bunch of ultras. He kills 26 SCVs. He didn't kill the base. Dark has had enough. He's like, well, if you're not gonna come kill me, I'll do it myself. So even though Cure wins the game, I think Dark is the one who ends it yet again. He's just, he just doesn't want to deal with that mass ghost style. And that means that Cure puts one on the board. Though, more like outlasting Dark in that game. A decidedly different one. But we're going into something a bit more recognizable. Game 4 will be on Oceanborn. Yeah, the mech didn't work. You know, it is a bit of a challenge mode, going not Roach Ravager against the mech. It is clearly a stronger choice much of the time. 
And that's why Dark in game number four has picked it yet again. Well, here we go. One game without a road to win, one game lost. Correlation, causation, inspiration. Well, like and subscribe if you agree. And this one, he only has one guess, so it's not super duper uber all in. It's just pretty all. It, it's it's all in, but like end of sentence. Lower case. One of those builds that certainly could do critical damage, but Dark is not relying on it uh, to end the game. He does only have 17 drowned, and that will be the number for a little while yet. We'll see when he stops building him. Here they come. I mean, clearly spotted. The Reaper Grenade. Ravager on the way. I'm trying to buy as much time as possible. Here. Right. Five drones behind this. I think that one Ravager was just to put the fear in his heart. Let's see. Is he still mining gas? Yes. So looking for more. Maybe want to use all the HP of the Roach and then turn it into a Ravager and then use all that as well. Cyclone is about to come out. Reaper very dead. I'm going to start throwing up the corrosive biles. Just working on the depot. The lowest hanging option here. Dark with four overlords out of the way, which is a bit uh, of an expensive, I, I guess, mistake. I don't know if mistake is maybe a bit strong. Just a bit inefficient. Well, the Ravager cow growing underneath the shade of the orbital command. Darkness is where they grow best. That's where they make their bile so corrosive. Oh my god. He kills the Cyclone. Like, if he kills the Cyclone, he may win the game. Cure. Cure needs to keep the Cyclone alive. Like, he's holding. But the Cyclone needs to live. At least until the Banshee comes out. Alright. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Banshee's out. All right, fun's over. Fun time's over. And that's it. Back it up. This is an overlord there, but one roach. Gonna take the brunt of it. Banshee's still chasing. Folk is gonna be done. I think defaulting to a Banshee against Cure is definitely a smart move. Third CC for Cure. Against Dark, rather. Lair's on the way. So Dark is... Uh, it's one of those odd, odd situations. Creep spread is pretty lackluster. There weren't that many queens, though. The third base is relatively late compared to, you know, more passive start. Double Evo Chamber is on the way significantly quicker than pretty much any other game in the series. Um, I think even including the post-youth one, considering he didn't have gas for like five minutes. So. Hey, they, 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 you can't even see them. I mean, he knows where they are, obviously, but if he starts hitting Cloak Banshees with Corrosive it's just like... You can't take those hits, Gear. Losing half the HP on the Banshee significantly decreases their chances to really pick off drones in those edge cases. He has to go home and repair. Means as Dark gets some more space. He's got an infestation pit on the way. He's not going to go home and repair. I do like the fourth command center here. Dark, or, oh my god. All my four-letter names confused. 
Obscure just slapping down a fourth base on location. I think mostly relying on the Banshees. Uh, and the general demeanor of Dark here clearly building up to hold him back. And if he can get away with it, that's one way to kind of springboard right back into it. Dark has 69 drones, which is nice enough for this stage of the game. Oh, and she's not quite able to get the drone in time, but gonna shark around. So, Susan, I know we could fly. I remember. Shh. But Brenda, I don't... Shh. We'll talk about your trauma later. Hive, on the way. Well, Cure is back to bio here. It's going to be five barracks, armory. So very standard. Has Dark seen, he has not seen the fourth base. Now the fourth base isn't a huge factor. Getting it this early is going to make it a lot easier to use as, as just a fortified outpost. Taking the fourth base is usually the focal point that the Zerg focuses on. It's uh, the target of late game aggression. Uh, and usually the easiest to deny. But the fact that it's already going to be a planetary uh, before Dark even scouts it, let alone can attack, is a big deal for having that late game defense. But at the same time, Dark has sprinted towards Hive after a, a late start on the lair because of the roaches. Overseer, he just cloaks, uncloaks. All right, fashion show out here. Three Vipers on the way. If you can get on top of those tanks, the blinding clouds, the Roach Ravager Zergling is certainly a deadly option, but Cure Supply is solidly high at this stage. He's got plus two attack on the way. He didn't actually start his plus two armor. Dark has better upgrades overall. He's going to have an advantage. He does have an Ultralisk Cavern on the way. Adrenal Glands? No, not yet. I assume he wants to get it as soon as possible. Very easy upgrade to miss, and an incredibly important one not to. There's no real visual besides watching your Zerglings attack. It's not like combat shield or, or charge in that sense. But still no adrenal glands uh, out of dark, despite his focus on Zerglings. So that could come back to bite him, or Zerglings might not bite at all. There it is. Down goes one Banshee. Now, Cure actually managed to get up to the high ground here completely unscouted. He's got a siege tank set up, and Dark has nothing here. The Zerglings that were standing by are obliterated immediately. Dark was in position to shut down the drop, but isn't ready for the main attack. He just goes across the map. He sends it all. A single widow mine gonna be used against the Terrans here. And the counter attack. There's no wall at the natural, by the way. I uh, Cure is scrambling back. He took out the base. Oh my. So many marines and zerglings dead. He's buying himself so much time here. The zerglings are into the natural. SCVs are dying. The double drop will be dealt with. And now 2-2 is done for dark. <sighs> He's got full energy vipers. He's got adrenal glands finishing up. Kindness plating is a bit late on the draw here. And Cure will build up for another attack, but he had to scramble back to defend against just kind of a YOLO-style Zerg leg attack. He just, he just boxed him up and sent him. And Kier kind of panicked and, and scrambled back. And now, where are we? Now the Ultras, on the way. Dark not going to be able to engage that, ideally until... Uh, until Kitan is plating and he has... The Viper's in position. The Vipers are the most important part. But Kitan is playing close second. Dark just avoiding the army entirely. It's not really threatening in that location. So he's going to try to force a fight on Cure's side of the map. Overseer comes in, draws out a Widow Mine shot. It'll be annoying to deal with those Widow Way. Actually, he just used Corrosive Bow and knocked out two more. There's one more, draws it off to the side. So visible. Very nice, though. Still so much energy, corrosive vials just laying into the marines. 
a wave of them. A volley from the Ravagers, and another group of Marines is taken out. Cure. Struggling to make any purchase. Does he have... He does have a Ghost Academy, but no ghosts on the field. The Ultra Count is growing. And the Vipers are still intact. And with no ghosts to deal with it, the momentum is growing for Dark as well. Uh, his upgrades being increased. He's going to have an upgraded 3-3. Three, three. Uh, upgrade advantage. If we get to that point. As Dark is coming in for another wave. Per Parasitic Bomb onto the Metavacs. Ultra's crashing through. Ghosts in production, but they haven't been delivered yet. Draws out the mines. The Parasitic Bomb doesn't quite kill the Metavacs, but a lot of them badly bruised. The Ultras are chewing through. The Bio Army able to funnel them to the back corner. But more and more damage being done. The sheer biomass out in front is something almost impossible to deal with. The Zergling dealt with. The Widow Mine is handled. The Ravagers will take it out. And Cure is retreating back to his natural. He's got the ghosts, but now he's cut off. Dark will chew up the siege tanks, which were almost an afterthought in this scenario. And he's refilling. He's at 200 supplies, making it look absolutely easy. And we all know it's anything but. But Cure, not able to manage to juggle the armies on every side. And Dark, springboarding off the momentum. First off the Roach. And now the, the counterattack, and now this full-on attack. He's going to have plus three, plus three completed. And this could very well be the end of the series. Cure has to have a defense better than any he's had so far. And I am hard-pressed to see it happening. Here come the Ultras. The Parasitic Bombs. Widow Mines on to the Ultras, but there are more where that came from. The Snipes are good. Only one Ultra left over. Oh, wait. Make that two. Make that four. They keep multiplying. Coming across the map. The SCVs abandoned. Try to evacuate into the Metavax. But is there anywhere left to go? In fact, there's not even a wall at the top of the ramp. There's nothing to keep the Zerg out besides the high ground and the general clunkiness of their thick, thick bodies. And now the Ultra driven back. 13 SCVs down, but Dark is refilled for more. He's at 200 supply. The Corrosive Biles knocking down Liberator. There were some Ultras hiding in the corner over there. Come back out to play. But another wave of Zerglings are coming in. He's building Bane Lanes on his doorstep. On his front lawn right now. The Zerglings? Widowmine connects, but... More Widowmines. Tries to get it done. But Widowmines cut both ways. A snipe takes out an ultra, but Baneling's rolling in yet again. And the tide of darkness is overwhelming here. He's gonna try to hold. It's not happening. Dark is crushing through. He doesn't even care. He's up the ramp. The ultra's cleared out the other base. And Dark with a commanding victory turns it around yet again. The Rochalins undercutting anything Kier tried to do early, and the Ultras cutting down anything he tried to do late. A solid 3-1 victory out of Dark to claim yet another finals for the final boss. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully I made your day a little bit better. If you got the means and motivation, it'd be great to check out uh, Patreon and also support the Korean StarCraft 2 League. You can find that info below. It's well right, Jimmy! But, but I hear liking and subscribing are still free for now. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy. If you haven't yet checked out the second channel for streams and more content, if you've got some more hours in the day, or uh, check out Recommended for another cast if you're looking for it. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Good luck, have fun. Thank you for watching. Stay chill.